Welcome back everybody. Today, we're talking bass jigs. All right guys, so let's talk about bass jigs. Today I'm gonna be showing you the five bass jigs that I'm using all the time. I'm not gonna get crazy with it. Guys, there's a lot of bass jigs on the market. I'll be honest with you, like, they pretty much have made a bass jig for everything. Flipping, skipping, casting, pitching, you, you name it, they got it for a bass jig. So the five that I have here are gonna be the five that you need in your tackle box. And I'll go into detail a little bit about each one, but let's just clear everything up. If you guys had confusion about bass jigs, we're gonna solve that here today. So let's get into it. The first jig that I'm gonna show you guys is this guy right here. Now this is the do it all jig, the all purpose. This right here is a casting jig. Now a casting jig is a jig that's going to allow you to do a little bit of everything. I'm picking up a casting jig when I'm fishing somewhere that I'm just covering water, right? Maybe I'm pulling my boat up and I'm fishing a shoreline that has a bunch of, you know, overhanging cover. I got some down trees, I got some sticks and stuff like that, but 50 yards to my left, I'm coming up to a, you know, a dock. So I wanna start flipping under the dock. Instead of me going ahead and picking up a flipping jig and then picking up a skipping jig, I'm just gonna stick it to the man and use this guy right here. The casting jig is gonna get the job done for me. And it's like I said, it's my do it all. So when I don't really know exactly what I'm coming up to, or maybe my structure is constantly changing based on the shoreline that I'm fishing, that's when I'm gonna pick up my casting jig. Now, before we move on to the next one, I wanna show you guys this jig right here because it's very similar to the casting jig. This right here is the Game Changer Lures Trash Master Jig. I became really hip to this and it's kind of replaced the casting jig for me. Although I do love a good casting jig, I have been so productive the past season with this guy right here. This is very similar to a casting jig. It's an all purpose jig. The one thing that this jig doesn't have is a weed guard. What this jig does is it allows me to be almost 100% weedless using a screw lock system. So if you guys are familiar with shaky heads, they have that little like spring on there that you could screw a soft plastic on, right? This jig has exactly that. So I love to use this. It kind of allows me to Texas rig a soft plastic on my bass jig. It's got me in a lot of cover and junk that I haven't been able to really get a bass jig into. So I just wanted to show you guys this because this has become one of my favorite jigs and it's very, very similar to the casting jig. So if you guys are interested in picking one of these up, we sell them at Shop Carl's. I wanna link one down below. Uh, every jig that I have here in front of me is sold at Shop Carl's, but this is one that I really just wanted to show off to you guys because it made a huge difference for me this past season. It really, really did. So that's that. These are two jigs that are gonna allow you to do whatever you guys need to do. So if you don't wanna get crazy and have 15 different jigs in your box, pick up a casting jig. The next jig that we're talking about right here is going to be a flipping jig. Now a flipping jig is gonna be your go-getter. I'm talking about when you guys gotta get in that thick stuff and you gotta get a fish out of there. Now a flipping jig is called a flipping jig because you're flipping it in and out of cover. Exactly like the name. You're not making long casts with this, right? You're working a shoreline. It's got really heavy down trees. You got heavier weeds, not exactly weed mats, but you got heavier weeds. And this jig right here is built for that heavy cover. You have a rounder head, and if you guys will notice on the head, the line tie is almost molded into that lead head. This is gonna allow you to have maximum strength to tie braid on there. And then paired with it, you guys have a thick gauge hook, just like a punching hook. This is going to be a heavy duty jig that you're gonna pair up with heavy duty line so that you can really jack that hook and get that fish out of heavy cover. The third jig is one of my favorites and that is a football jig. The football jig looks exactly like it sounds. If you guys look at the head right here, it is in the shape of a football. Now this is gonna be your jig when it comes to fishing the bottom. That football shape is gonna help guide that jig over rocks, 
over logs. This is a jig that you guys are gonna be using when you're staying tight to the bottom. So pretty much any time that you're trying to key in on crayfish or crawfish, whatever you guys say, you're gonna wanna use a football jig. I love fishing a football jig by dams where there's big rocks. I love fishing them on declines, inclines. Anytime that I'm just dragging the bottom, this is gonna be my go-to. And then we got the finesse jig. This is actually funny, I, I forget who I was watching, but whoever I was watching when I was learning about jigs said that a finesse jig is basically a shaky head with a skirt. And honestly, that's like the best way that I can put it. Anytime that you guys are fishing in a finesse scenario, just like you would fish a shaky head or a Ned rig, stuff like that, that's when you're gonna wanna pick up a finesse jig. As you guys will see here, it's a lighter weight. This one right here is a quarter ounce. You have a low profile skirt. If you guys can see, it's it's tied differently. Oftentimes you guys will see finesse jigs with the you know flared like firework looking skirt on top. And you're gonna have just a lot less going on than your typical bass jig. Whenever you guys are fishing like cold water or those scenarios where bass are keying in on smaller bait fish, try and pick up a finesse jig. And then lastly, we have the jig. That's not really a jig, but it's a jig. All right, all jokes aside, we have the swim jig right here. Now, a swim jig is one that you guys wanna make sure you keep on the move. When you guys look at it, you'll see that typically the line tie is in the front. It has a more narrow face to it, and oftentimes there will be eyes painted on the jig. The purpose of a swim jig is to key in on those bait fish. You typically tip it with a paddle tail swim bait, and this is a jig that excels in weeds. Whenever you don't have weeds, you know, piled up to the surface, right? Like in the spring and in the fall when they're slowly coming in, that's when you're gonna really get the most use out of your swim jig. Just an area where I can cast this out there, work it through the grass nice and slow, you can often get on a really nice bite. One thing that I do wanna point out is you do actually want to avoid keeping this jig off of the bottom. A lot of people will mix this up with a normal bass jig. You, you wanna keep this thing moving. If you cast it out there and let it hit the bottom, the face of this jig isn't exactly designed to sit on the bottom. You guys have other jigs here, like let's show the casting jig for example. You'll notice that it has a much flatter head. If you take something like a casting jig, this jig is actually designed to sit straight up like that. You see that? My hook is straight up in the air, which is gonna actually prop up my soft plastic so that when the fish eats it, they can get right to that hook. A swim jig, if I try to put that up there, it's just gonna fall, right? So that head isn't designed to sit on the bottom. It's made to cut through grass, stay weedless, and just consistently move through the water. So just remember, anytime that you guys are using a swim jig, make sure it's swimming. So there you guys have it. There is a quick breakdown on my top five jigs. I'm using these jigs pretty much all the time. They're what I keep locked and loaded in my tackle box. You know, you don't gotta think super hard about it. You don't necessarily need a jig for literally everything, but they have the options out there. So if you were a little bit confused, I hope I cleared it up for you guys just a tad. With all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below. If you guys have any questions at all, just let me know. I'll make sure I answer it for you here on the channel. But other than that, if you guys are new here, do me a favor, smash that subscribe button and uh, you know, drop a like for your boy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time.